Hey guys, sorry if you can hear any noise in the background. Owl's watching Anastasia. It's Monday. It's a holiday here. Jared and Rainer are fishing and Owl's watching a movie. And I'm about to crack this boy open. I don't know what I want to read after finishing the Illuminae files. Um, I was gonna read more than we can tell. Um, the one by Bridget Kemmerer, it's like the companion novel to Letters to the Lost, but I just read three YA and I don't know if my brain can handle more YA right now or if I should, like I don't know if I should read it or if I should give it a rest and go back to it another time. So in the meantime, I'm reading a little bit more of this. I read about 30 pages of it yesterday, I think. I'm on page 574. And I realized when I looked um, in my Time Hop app or whatever, this came up and I had read it three years ago, but I had actually started it two years before that. I read like half and then put it on the shelf and I didn't touch it for like two years and then I finished the last half. So I feel like this book must just be like not the book for me. Um, not that it's bad, but like once I finish it, I will do my wrap up and you guys will see more. But I just considering I had a rough time getting through this one the first time and I'm feeling that same kind of thing the second time, but I feel like the rest of the books went by so much faster. So I just need to finish this so I can get on to better parts of the story. And I think it's because, and without like spoiling anything, there's certain characters in this that are not here anymore and reading their perspectives was never my favorite in the first place. And so now I'm reading them again and I just like don't care about them. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. I cracked open one of these bad boys. They're so good. My favorite one is the pickled bean, but this one's pretty good too. Um, I love Caesars, they're so good. Hey guys, still Monday. I still have no idea what I wanna read. I finally hit the 600 page mark in A Clash of Kings. I just came out of one of Tyrion's chapters and they're always my favorite, so I always feel better coming out of one of my favorite chapters or parts than not. Anyway, I did hit the 600 page mark, so I'm excited that I made a little bit of a dent in that. And then I decided I'm gonna do a try a chapter. And so the first one that I did for that was Us Against You. And honestly, like, it's bittersweet because I think there's only two, he has a couple novellas I haven't read yet, but there's only two novels that I know of that are published still, or published currently that I haven't read yet. And this is one of them and Brit and Marie is the other one. And I think those are the only two. And my kids are fighting. Anyway, Frederick Bachman is like one of the few authors that can just catch me right from the beginning. Like the first chapter is only like two pages long. And I know this is an extension on Beartown, which I absolutely loved. It made, I think one of my top favorite books of 2018. And I haven't read this one yet. And there's one more book coming. I can't remember what it's called, but there's another book coming out within the next couple years, hopefully after this. So I have lots of time to read this, but it's just like the way he sets the books up, they're so captivating right from the beginning. So anyway, first chapter of this one definitely went well, but I do have a couple of, I have a historical fiction and then I have two classics and a YA contemporary in the stack. So I'm gonna continue on with the trying a chapter business. Okay, so I just finished the first chapter of The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane. This book has been on my TBR for at least a year now or so. And the first chapter is like 20 pages long. This is definitely taking me longer to get through the stack of books than I thought it would. Okay, the writing style is not my favorite. It's not nearly as captivating, especially coming from Us Against You. That being said, it's definitely something I still want to read. And the ending of the chapter... I wouldn't say it's a cliffhanger, but it definitely, like, I feel like it's leading towards something else. I think it starts in 1988, and I have a feeling it's going to be really, really interesting. But I have heard, I can't remember who it was, but someone did mention that it was a little bit tougher of a read. Um, I don't know if that was so much the content or just the writing style of the book. Alright, so I just read the first chapter of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And this is actually a contender. I've been wanting to read a classic for a while, so I'm thinking this might be the one. We'll see. Um, Krista from Books and Jams, I'll link her channel down below, 
She's actually doing Austin August, and so this would tie into that if I wanted to participate in that. Still not sure exactly what I want to read yet, but I think the story so far, I mean, you only get the first chapter, but I have a feeling this will be very, like, sweet and cute and just very enjoyable. Plus, the writing style isn't... Sometimes, at least from what I've realized when I was younger, some classics can be written kind of complex. I feel like this one isn't one that's going to take me ages and ages to get through. Could totally be wrong, but I feel like it's something I could sort of fall into, and I haven't read any classics since this past Christmas, I think. I read A Christmas Carol and I read Peter Pan. Um, but I haven't read any classics since then. So definitely Pride and Prejudice is a contender. Okay, so book four, we have Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. And the first chapter of this one is pretty cool. I have to say it's definitely pretty captivating. Still, again, I still have no idea what I want to read. That's why I'm doing this, obviously. But after reading the Illuminae files, I just don't know what I want after that. Um, but this one is pretty cool. The first chapter is, again, super short, but definitely it's kind of eerie. It's interesting. It starts out, like, in a dream. It's super neat. Um, definitely also one I want to get to at some point. I don't know if I'm going to get to it today, but this is definitely also a contender. So it's Wednesday now and I totally forgot to update you on what I ended up picking. So I did end up reading the first chapter of More Than We Can Tell and honestly I think it's probably going to be one I really like. Um, we only had Emma, I think that was the first perspective that we got. Yeah. Um, so we just figure out kind of who Emma is, what she's about a little bit, and then the next chapter goes into Rev who was actually my probably my favorite character in Letters to the Lost, which I absolutely love, so I need to get to this at some point. That being said, after reading all of the Illuminae files, like YA stuff, I decided to give YA a little break, and I will get to this. I know it's been like off and on all my TBR for a while. This is something I do want to get to, which is why it lives on my nightstand, but I ended up going with Pride and Prejudice, and I will, I don't know if I said this or not, I'll link Krista's channel down below, Krista from Books and Jams. She's super sweet, but she's doing Austin August. And I read the first chapter of this, which was really short. And I just thought it was going to be really cute. And I have since read more today. I don't even know where I am. Um, about 40 pages in. And so far, it's very endearing. It's very sweet. And it's a pretty fast moving, like, it's really easy to read and ingest. So I'm liking that. And I have just been working through this this afternoon and I plan to do a lot more. Hopefully I'll finish it this week. That will be great. Um, it is pretty long. So like a little over 400 pages, but they're, the pages are only like the about this big. Like the plate is only about that big. So a lot of it is just a big book, but like empty space. Anyway, I am really enjoying this so far. Um, it's fun to be back in a classic again because it's been such a long time and I think the last big one that I read was Jane Eyre and I think I gave Jane Eyre four stars. There were parts of it that weren't my favorite but I did really enjoy it and so I'm excited to be reading this one. Plus this is the um, Paper Mill Press edition that you can get off of Book Outlet. They have some really really pretty covers. So aside from reading, today is actually Jared and my ninth wedding anniversary. Um, we started dating when I was like a month before I turned 17 and then we got engaged a month before I turned 19 because our anniversary was in March and my birthday's in April. Um, and then we got married 
August 7th, 2010. So we have been married for nine years, which is crazy how fast that all went by. Time just like, it just zooms. It feels like I blinked and like, here we are. It's so crazy how fast the time goes by and it's been fun and I'm excited for many, many more years ahead. it is like 10 30 on sunday night so sorry this vlog is late you'll know this already by the time you get to this part we had a pretty busy weekend and i realized like just now that i didn't film an outro for this week's reading vlog so i just wanted to quickly close out the vlog and give you a quick update on what i got to and what went on this week also today is the anniversary of my grandpa passing away and so i was having kind of a rough go um, anybody who saw my Instagram story, it just, like, I happened to be checking my time hop late, late at night, and the time that I was checking the time hop was almost the exact same time of, look, it was, like, one thirty in the morning, and I remember when my grandpa passed away, it was around one thirty in the morning that my mom called me to tell me, and it just, like, hit me like a ton of bricks, um, and so that's just been kind of on my mind today. I've been a little selling just a lot of emotions like I don't I, I don't think I expected it to hit me this hard but the I took a picture and it was I was holding his hand in the hospital and he wasn't awake or anything he was asleep um but I was holding his hand and I took this picture and I knew like I knew taking it and I'm gonna get all teary again I knew taking this picture it was gonna be the last time I ever saw him like I just knew you could just tell he wasn't gonna make it through the night um, and I, so I hung out there and just sat with, beside his bed and held his hand. And I think I left around 1130 because I had parked pretty far away and I had to drive, I had to walk to my car. It was late at night. Um, and so I got home and got ready for bed and everything. And as I was about to go to sleep around 1.30, my mom called me just before I fell asleep to let me know that he'd passed away. It's just, just a little while after I left. Um, and it was just, I don't know, I guess just thinking about that, knowing that was, it's weird knowing that's going to be the last time you see someone. Um, but everybody was really sweet in my Instagram story and sent me lots of love. And I appreciate you guys a lot for sending me that because today was just, just a weird day. Um, I did get book mail this week. And so a couple weeks ago, probably, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago now, I ordered a copy of, um, what is this? A Tale of Two Cities. I like to collect pretty used copies of classic books, and hopefully someday I'll be able to read a majority of them, if not all of them someday. Anyway, I ordered A Tale of Two Cities, and the picture, this doesn't happen very often on books, but sometimes you have to be careful. If there's an ISBN number, click on it to make sure you know what edition you're getting or whatever, because... Thanks, Mouse. Because sometimes the picture on the ad doesn't match with the book that you get in the mail. And that really drives me crazy. It doesn't happen often, but there have been times where I purposely ordered a hard copy of something and, or a hardcover copy and I get a soft cover copy and it's just kind of annoying because it's not exactly what you want. Um, but like I said, it happens very rarely. Like I think this might be the second time it's ever happened, maybe the third, I'm not sure. Anyway, I ordered a Tale of Two Cities. And this is what came in the mail. And it did say in the title, like, Ladybird Classic Edition or something. But I didn't know what that was. I should have looked it up. So now I have this, like, 30-paged book. And my son wants me to read it to him, but I don't want to read it to him until I read the real one. Because I don't want to spoil a much longer book. 
with this tiny thing. So Jared might have to read it to him because I don't know what happens. I mean, I know basically, I think, the story of this. Uh, but I don't really know what happens. I don't know who the characters are. I don't know anything about it. So I don't want to ruin it before I read the big one. So maybe Jared will have to read that one. But then I also ordered a few weeks ago The Messenger by Marcus Zusak. You guys know if you've been around for a while. I love Marcus Zusak. I loved The Book Thief and Bridge of Clay is like one of my favorite books of all time. I just absolutely adored it. And I haven't read The Messenger yet. I think he has, at least according to in here. I didn't know if he had another one. There's also one called When Dogs Cry, which I'm assuming is older. I'm not sure. But now I'm curious if I like this one, I might get that one too. Because I really did think his writing style was really neat with the two books that I loved. And I've heard good things and I've heard mixed things about this book. But the cover is kind of creepy. It's got this like little jester creeper on it. The story sounds interesting. I honestly, I don't really know. Like I, I more bought it. This is more of an author buy than like a the book sounds cool buy. But I think I'll like it because he wrote it. So we shall see if it's another winner for me. And then the last thing I wanted to say before this gets way too long is I am still reading Pride and Prejudice. I am really enjoying it. It's really sweet. The characters are kind of funny. Like it's just, it's such a different time. And the things that are important and the things that people say and like the fact that the the mother is just like, so focused on getting her daughters married and that is the only thing in the world that matters is just so just shocking and just a weird place to be in but I'm absolutely loving the story I am 150 pages in I've got some tabby tabs going on I love any book that comes with its own bookmark winner for me I post videos usually most Mondays and Thursdays. This week is kind of a weird week. Anyway, I'm gonna go read now. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you were up to this weekend. Do you guys have a good time? Do you have good weather? Just let me know what's going on. Let me know what you're reading this week. I always like to hear what people are reading. Um, and I will talk to you guys all soon. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And I will talk to you all soon. Thanks so much. Bye.